Kia ora everyone, after a little bit of time away, we are back again and it's time for episode number three of Selling Your House. So if you haven't caught the first two episodes, there's a little link up above uh, in the corner that you can go to to have a look at those. But today we're talking about the all important step of getting your home up on the market and that is preparing your home for sale. So there's two facets to this. Uh, we're going to go through some of the uh, things that are really important to do to have your home looking at its absolute best. And that's its absolute best for photos, which are really, really important. We're going to have a talk about those as well. But also it's absolute best when we get people coming through your home to have a look as well. So let's have a look at all of those things that you can do. They're often overlooked things as well. Some of them are things that you're probably doing every single week or a couple of times a week if you've got a uh, lot of kids around the house and you're wanting to keep it tidy. So without further ado, let's jump in and have a look at those. These are the things that you need to do to prepare your home to ensure the maximum sale price possible, because at the end of the day, that's what we're all wanting when we get our homes on the market, so we can make that next step uh, into the next stages of our lives as well, and get everything done as stress-free as possible. Now, this does take a little bit of elbow grease and a little bit of time, but an investment in this is going to reap Benefits, dividends at the other end when your property does sell. First things first, clean, clean, more cleaning. That's right, one of the really important parts of getting your home preparing, prepared for sale and getting the photographer in there to get the photos done as well as getting buyers in through that door as well is having your house looking absolutely spotless. So it is going to be the time where you have to do some of those little jobs that maybe when you do your weekly clean you don't worry too much about but dusting on top of the cabinets, behind the fireplace, getting those windows looking spotless and sparkling, having all of the scooting boards done, whipping around and getting all of those cobwebs down as well. Really, really important that you get that done before your photos are taken to get your home up on the market and each time before you have someone coming through your property as well. Now move that cleaning to outside also. Street appeal is a really big factor for people when they're coming to have a look at a property. Nine times out of ten they're probably going to do a little drive by before they uh, make that commitment to pick up the phone and give the uh, real estate salesperson a call or even come along to an open home as well. Probably going to do a drive by, make a few judgments as they're driving by as well. So make sure that the outside of your house is looking fantastic. Maybe a good opportunity to give it a quick wash um, around on the actual property itself. Uh, also get those lawns done, those edges done, get on top of all of the weeding, particularly at the front of the property. And uh, while you've got your property on the market and throughout the campaign, you're probably going to have to do this a little more regularly than you'd like to. But again, really does reap benefits at the end of the day to get those maximum sale prices. Okay, third thing that you really do need to focus on is touch-ups and repairs. Um, so all of those little things around your house that you've just grown to uh, live with and they've become part of part of the furniture, as they say, things like drippy taps or window uh, that don't close properly, all of those type of things, now is the time to get that done. And I know that feels just a little bit counterproductive when you're actually moving out of the property. But those little things, once someone falls in love with your house and they're coming through for their second, third, fourth viewing, those are the type of things they're going to start paying attention to. If all of those things are done in advance, it's something they don't have to worry about. They're going to be putting in their very best offer because they know that they can just move into your home, live in it straight away and make it their own. So go around to get all those little repairs done throughout the property as well. Clear out the clutter. This one takes a little bit of time from experience. We've got three kids here at home. When we had our home up on the market last year in 2021, this was quite a big job, but it is well worth it. So go through and basically declutter as much as you can. Um, so some of those things that become pretty normal living situations for you and your family, when someone comes into your home, it does take up a little bit of space. They do notice those things. So take the opportunity before the photos was the advisable time to do, but if you can't manage to get it done, before the photos, uh, we can we can do some more workarounds of that and have it behind the photographer. But it's a really good idea to declutter as much as possible. Now you can utilize garages for this type of thing. From experience, we just boxed everything up that we wanted to uh, take away from a decluttering situation. We were moving anyway, so we were pre-preparing from that instance. Had them in the garage, and we had our salesperson just saying to our potential people, "Hey." Sorry about the garage, but uh, yes, these people are moving out. It was all relatively tidy in there, but it made a massive difference in the home. Really showed all of the space and uh, the things that people could put in there and make their own when they purchase in the future. 
So do that decluttering, it's really, really important. If you've got things like where you drop your keys or letters and that type of thing, while you're on the market, you're gonna to have to come up with an alternative solution to uh, those little spots that we all have around the home and uh, come up with something completely different. Bring nature inside, okay? Potted plants, uh, flowers, all that type of thing makes a really big difference with uh, the presentation of a home. It looks fantastic in photos and it also is fantastic when people are coming through. So if you've got pot plants or different things that you like, maybe you can go out and uh, just invest a small amount into getting that type of thing. Uh, having those type of things around the home, plants do make a difference with the presentation. And last but not least, when we're preparing our house to sale, it is to depersonalize as much as possible. So do uh, take off the certificates off the wall and the family photos and that type of thing. I know it's a little bit sad because they are uh, part of your home, but it's a really good way of uh, ensuring that a potential buyer can kind of picture themselves in your home rather than going around and having a, a little bit of a history lesson as to what your family's been up to over the last little while. So a pretty important step to uh, depersonalize as much as possible. But when you depersonalize, that doesn't mean that you completely strip the walls to bare. If you've got nice pieces of artwork, or again, uh, you can even borrow that off family or friends. It's a good idea to uh, have some nice artwork. That just adds to the ambience of the property, add that to the uh, potted uh, plants that you've brought in as well and you're on to a winner. So we've got our home all prepared for sale. Let's have a little bit of talk about the uh, first step for getting your home on the market which is photography. This is the utmost important step for everything at the moment. We all know we live in a world where the internet is uh, the king when it comes to selling and also visual internet is also uh, known as being a really important way of getting a product across, whether that's your home or whether that's something that uh, you're looking at buying, if that's clothing, etc, etc. Imagery is really, really important and we need to have your home looking at its absolute best. So first things first, do not skimp on photographs. Uh, do not go for the option of just having them taken by a salesperson or yourself uh, with your iPhone, or if you're a bit of a hobbyist and you've got a relatively good DSLR camera. There's still some things that the professionals know what to do that you probably won't know what to do, and they do stand out when it's been compared to other properties on Trade Room. Remember, here in Wanganui at the moment, there's about 230 properties for sale, so your home has to stand out against all of those 230 others, and if the photos aren't right, it definitely stands out for all of the wrong reason so invest in that professional photography is an absolute must and it's also pretty important these days that you're looking at the video options as well so have a talk to the salesperson about what video options they offer, virtual tours and that type of thing. We're still in a bit of a state of a uh, pandemic and a different way of people shopping and purchasing things. A lot of people are doing a lot more research into a property via photos, video and virtual tours than they ever were uh, because everyone is uh, taking those precautions before they head out into the wide world and actually have a look at a property. So if you're supplying a potential buyer with all that and they're coming through to view it for the first time, they already have a pretty good idea of the layout and how everything Thing works. Now last thing, preparing your home for sale, a little bit of a longer video today but hopefully it's been of value to you, um, it's really important that you also have a think about viewing schedules so don't get into the trap of saying to a real estate salesperson, yeah just bring people through at any stage because what that's going to do for you is lead to lots of stress because every day before you head off to work or drop the kids off you're going to have to make sure the house is looking absolutely spotless because you don't know if someone's going to be coming through that day. So a good piece of advice here is in advance before before you actually have the sign out the front, photos on the internet, ask your salesperson to uh, pre-book all of the dates that they'll come through. And my advice is to always go for a Sunday open home. Maybe you can uh, change the times from week to week. It's also a pretty good idea to uh, open up your house for a midweek after five o'clock viewing. So maybe you've got to take the kids to a sports practice at five o'clock on a Wednesday. That could be a good time to uh, have the salesperson and buyers come through. You can have the house looking absolutely spotless and uh, off you go, do your thing, come back and uh, you've maybe had three or four buyers come through. And it's also good to set another time for uh, around about lunchtime. And often for the lunchtime ones, Fridays are pretty good, Friday lunchtime. Again, you can leave in the morning, have your property set up, and then around those times, you can live your family life like normal. Anyway, that concludes our preparing or seller's checklist part of this. The next stage of this YouTube uh, tutorial with selling your house is taking offers, looking at offers, and all of the uh, legalities that goes with that. Thank you for your support with this. Looking forward to bringing you more in this series. Have a great day, and we'll chat soon.